and welcome to a new video. This week I'm not sharing a vlog. I thought I would share some of the new in items in my closet and how I would style them. So I'm going to start with this sports bra. I picked it up from Airy recently. They had a sale. I spoke about it in my last vlog and I kid you not, I want it in every single color. It is so comfortable. It is flattering and it just fits so nicely. So I love this green. So I've just styled them here with my black yoga pants. These pants are from Lululemon. I've had them for probably close to 10 years now. I think they're like the groovy or something like that, but they're reversible. Here I'm just wearing them with the plain black side and they are just so comfortable. I don't mind showing a little bit of skin, but I do prefer my belly button to be tucked away. So these pants are not quite high enough, but if I wear them with any of my other leggings that are high-waisted, I don't have that issue. The next item I got was from Walmart, and it was actually on clearance. It was the only one I saw, so I couldn't even look for a different size. And this is from George, and it is beautiful and so, so comfy sweater. Obviously, comfort is key. Now, I loved the tone of the sweater. It was a pinky blush nude, and I figured it would go really well come the cooler weather. My husband is really pushing for autumn, and I'm just not ready for it yet. I'm not gonna lie. So I have it here how I would wear it right now on the cooler summer evenings. I would just layer it over shorts. Tell me, would you rather have your legs covered or your arms covered when you're cold? So for example, a tank top and long jeans or a sweater and shorts. I'm definitely a sweater and shorts kind of girl. I just, I'd rather have my arms and upper body be warm than my legs. So let me know down below what side of that you fall on. So transitioning into the slightly cooler weather, I've just paired it here with a pair of my straight leg old navy jeans that are a slightly darker wash and they're just super comfy. And then for both looks, I just chuck them on with my white Keds, which desperately need a clean. I keep thinking about it and then forgetting, but I love these shoes and they're also great for like three out of four seasons. I did a blue and white themed reel and YouTube short a little while ago. So you'll have seen these shorts. They are from Denver Hayes. I got them last year. I got them at Mark's Work Warehouse and they're just super comfy. They're high rise, but they're like a linen material. So they're nice and like floaty. They don't constrict and they have a really like chunky waistband. The other day, Scott and I went to Mark's cause we were going to get him some sunglasses and I was going to look at the Levi's jeans. I've never, I don't think I ever actually tried Levi's jeans on before. So I was a little bit worried about like finding my size. I didn't end up picking anything up this time, but I know what number I'm going to keep my eye on. It's the 314. And they're like the shaped straight, I think is what they're called. And they were super, super comfy. But while wandering the clearance section, I found two more pairs of these shorts. Now they did have, I want to say four or five colors slash prints. I have this pair, which they call brown. It's a hundred percent orange. It's like a creamsicle color. So right now I'm just wearing it with like a heathered, I guess is the word. It's like a heathered beige top just to go with the heathering of the shorts. And then I've just paired it with my gladiators. I don't care if this makes me look like an older millennial or whatnot. I love my gladiator sandals and I will never get rid of them. But I've also been in my wear my husband shirt era. I have been loving stealing Scott shirts, much to his chagrin. So I just grabbed one of Scott shirts. This one's actually from Old Navy last year. And I think this is one of the ones we bought for our engagement shoot. But again, I just like the tones with it. Um, obviously, I'm a very petite person. I'm only five foot three. And so this particular shirt swells up my whole outfit. But when you just want to throw something on, it's so comfy. And these shorts are great for throwing over a bathing suit. So if you weren't wearing a top, just had a bathing suit top, you could definitely just chuck on a big shirt and make it so comfy. And now the next pair, I style up a little bit more. So these are like a beautiful mustard yellow color. I've been obsessed with mustard yellow for a couple of years now and like slowly trying to add more and more into my wardrobe. So for this one, I decided I was just gonna wear a square neck bodysuit from Old Navy. And I have this dolman sleeve blouse from Old Navy that's easily about 10 years old. 
I actually have a video on my channel. I want to say from maybe my first year on YouTube, maybe it was my second year, and it's one of my most watched videos. I called it See Through Sailor, and it was like an outfit of the day, and then wore it with these yellow Old Navy flats. I have worn these to death. They are also probably in need of, of being retired, or at least very desperate clean, but unfortunately, I don't really fit in Old Navy shoes anymore. I don't know what they did, but for the last, I don't know, like four ish years I have not been able to fit in them I'm like I'd be a six and a half if they had that size they don't carry half sizes these yellow shoes hop in a few of these looks because they're just so versatile so again this one could be a little bit more elevated and of course in most of these looks you could definitely change out the shoes to give you more of a casual vibe or more of a dressed up vibe now while perusing the clearance section and I should mention those shorts were originally $40 on clearance for $11.99. They have an additional 25% off clearance. When they go to the till, they come up as $8.91. Now, as I said, I was perusing through the aisles and I stumbled upon these. And these are basically the long version of these shorts. I'm so excited for them. So I wish that I had these linen ones earlier in the summer for sure. I've just paired it with a couple of different tops. So first I have this rosewood color shirt and this shirt is from Walmart and I probably own, I wanna say six of these shirts. I own them in six different colors and whenever I see them in a different color, I always pick it up. It is just so comfortable. And when you pair them with a slightly elevated pair of pants, you can get away with wearing them. I can get away with wearing them to work as a teacher, but they're just so flippin' comfy. And I've just paired this outfit with a pair of nude pointed flats that are also from Walmart. And I've had them for a couple of years now. Now, the second look I have of these pants is a sleeveless mock neck crop top in like a beautiful sage green. And it does have a ribbing texture to it. And again, that little bit of skin um, I do quite like. I just thought it was, again, a slightly more elevated type of look, but still casual. Now for the black pair of these pants. So I couldn't find them in the shorts, but I found them in the pants, and I will definitely be wearing these throughout September with those transitional days where you're like, is it warm, is it cold, what's going on? So with this first look, it's definitely my more elevated date night kind of look. I've got this like letter cap sleeve, mock neck, black and white striped top just tucked in. Again, that really wide waistband, I just find so flattering. And then the shape of the pants, they just fall so nicely. I will say the black feel ever so slightly thicker than the beige. I'm not sure if the coloring has something to do with that, but regardless, still super comfortable. And I just threw on these pair of wedges, which I don't wear all that often because I have wider feet and these are a little bit too narrow. So if I'm not doing a lot of walking and it's a lot of like show, I can wear them but I just thought they kind of gave it that elevated date night look. And now the second look has another kind of green color to it. And again, this is a Walmart shirt I've had for years and years. I think I got this my first year teaching. And again, it's just nice and flowy. It's comfortable. I just put on a pair of black flats. I am in desperate need of new black flats, so all my Canucks, call it spring, all dough, just send them to me. If you have a go-to black flat, let me know. I would greatly appreciate it. This is 100% a look I would also wear to work. All right, now the final piece of clothing that I picked up recently are these wide-legged trousers from Old Navy. I love them for a few reasons. First of all, I only have one pair of navy pants and they are a very tight riding pant style from Joe Fresh that I've had again for years. And there's certain tops I only ever wear with those pants. So when I saw these navy pants, I was like, let's give it a go. So obviously it's such an extreme difference to what I'm used to. So being only five foot three and very, uh, I'm, I'm definitely more rectangular in shape. I'm not super curvy. Um, I got very broad shoulders and that's about it. So I was very worried that these white pants were going to overwhelm the way that I look. And honestly, I love them. But I brought them home because I wanted to try them on with these shirts and see what really works if I like them enough. And I do. <laughs> I have so many looks with these pants. I literally was trying on so many and I actually missed one. 
I had another shirt I wanted to try on, but if you want to see that, I will have a reel highlighting these outfits on my Instagram and a YouTube short, so you can see that one there. So let's start with the, I want to say the most formal looking outfit. So I have this shirt, it is a navy and white pinstripe blouse that I just tucked into the pants and I paired it with a pair of cream pointed heels. I feel like the pointed heel just looks so good with a wide leg. It seems so flattering and so complimentary to the shape. So this one is definitely, you know, office approved. Now I love these pants because they're high-waisted. I'm a high-waisted girly. I just prefer that like loving hug of a high-waisted pant. Now flipping to a more casual look that I will definitely be wearing to school. I'm wearing the same old navy square neck bodysuit underneath of it. I've thrown on the yellow flats again and I have this slightly darker yellow, I'd say marigold, maybe marigold's a better color description, this little cardigan. Now I was a little worried because obviously the cardigan is more flowy and I wasn't sure if that would kind of compete with the volume of the pants, but honestly I think it's great. The next couple looks are floral styled shirts and I have three navy floral shirts and the size of the print and the colors of the print are all a little bit different so I can justify having all of them. So this first one is actually one I got from Shein about a year ago and it's probably one of my most worn Shein items. I hate the neck on it so I did a, a reel of like keep or return and I almost returned it because it's like a, a sheared fabric. I can't think of the word that I'm looking for but anyways I it, I don't have a lot of neck and it just like really cut me off so I actually just tuck it in because it's elasticized and when it's tucked in it's much more flattering and again I really love the volume on the sleeves from the flutter sleeve and again I find it very complimentary to the wide angle pant and I find it makes me just look a little bit narrower in the waist because the pants balloon out a little bit. So with these ones again I just chucked on the yellow flats. I'm really happy with the length of these pants being on the you know the shorter side because I don't have to wear heels with them. So I love that I can wear these yellow flats and not destroy the bottom of my pants. And the final look is a sleeveless kind of floral tank that again, I've just tucked in. And again, I've just paired them with the pointed cream heels. Again, to give it a little bit of elevation, tying a little bit of the colors with the top. And of course, you could layer a cardigan on. I have a navy cardigan that I'm sure I'm gonna wear with this a lot. I really do like how all of these tops paired with the navy pants. So those are the new pieces in my closet and some of the ways that I would style them. I would love to know which look was your favorite or which item was your favorite and I will see you guys in my next video. See ya!